have a family at the time. So it's, it was very easy for me to say to them, no, I, I, I'm quitting. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I don't want to do that and I can't do it. And for me, it wasn't, it wasn't a big deal to just pack up and go home. Like I said, I, hadn't, I didn't have a family. It's much harder. That's the first piece of advice I'll give anybody who wants to uh, get into this. Don't have a family uh, for a while until you're successful because uh, it'll just make it very hard to ever get out of things and you'll always, you'll always have to compromise. But I didn't have to compromise because I didn't have a family. And, and what was it NBC wanted you to do? You know, they just didn't like the, uh, the direction of the show. For example, the, the Chinese restaurant episode. They hated that show. They didn't even want to air it. You know, there was a big meeting about the kind of shows they liked and the kind of shows they didn't like. You know, I just said, well, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I, I just thought that I would quit. But then I learned another lesson, that when you say no, you invariably get your way. And it's a, it's a wonderful feeling. <laughs> I, can, I can't believe I never did it before. <laughs> No, I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, you just say no. And then they go, okay, all right, well, you don't have to. We're going to play a clip from Seinfeld, and there's a million we could choose, but I thought we would do one of, of Big Stein, uh, George Stein. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, and, of course, people who know the show will know that there were many episodes where George Costanza worked for the New York Yankees, and he would be occasionally summoned to the office of the famous owner, George Steinbrenner, and you would do the voice. It would be shot from behind another actor so you didn't actually see him. This is an episode, I think, in which uh, Steinbrenner has summoned George because he's heard rumors about George's political views. You uh, wanted to see me, Mr. Steinbrenner? Yes, George, I did. Come in, come in. George, the word around the office is that you're a communist. <laughs> a communist? I am a Yankee, sir, first and foremost. You know, George has struck me today that a communist pipeline into the vast reservoir of Cuban baseball talent could be the greatest thing ever to happen to this organization. <laughs> sir, you could be invaluable to this franchise. George, there's a southpaw down there nobody's been able to get a look at. Something Rodriguez. I don't really know his name. You get yourself down to Havana right away. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do my best. Good. Merry Christmas, George. And uh, bring me back some of those cigars in the cedar boxes. You know, the ones with the fancy rings? I love those fancy rings. They kind of distract you while you're smoking. The red and yellow are nice. It looks good against the brown of the cigar. The Maduro, I like the Maduro wrapper. The darker, the better. That's what I say. Of course, the Claro's good, too. That's more of a pale brown, almost like a milky coffee. I find the ring size very confusing. They have it in centimeters. And uh, George Costanza has wandered out of the room.